This is Lewis Ritson and you're watching Sport Icons. Post fight review for Lewis Ritson versus Francesco Patera for the lightweight European title. Of course, Lewis Ritson owned outright the British title at lightweight after winning it and then defending it successfully in three defenses. And he looked like he was just going to breeze through within a few fights, maybe world title, um, because he's an absolutely brutal, brutal fighter. But for whatever reason, in this fight, it was a case of Lewis Ritson. He looked good in like the first three or four rounds. Uh, ramrod jab. Francesco was on the back foot all the way around. But whenever Ritson hurt him, Patera would come back with a combination. And at this moment, I'm thinking, okay, hang on a minute. So this guy's actually coming to fight, coming to box, and he's using a real game plan. Um, Lewis Ritson's game plan was to come forward and put pressure on Patera. And it was working quite well, I think, for the first four rounds. Uh, Lewis Ritson was getting caught with some pretty decent shots. But at the end of the day, you, you know what really matters is the fact that in round number five, a body shot hit Lewis Ritson and the air just got sucked right out of his lungs. And that was it for literally the rest of the fight for the remaining seven rounds where Lewis just couldn't get any kind of mustard behind his shots. Um, he was stunned. Um, his arms went down. He was hitting being hit with clean shots and Patera's fitness level is through the roof. It really is. I mean, test that boy. Now, I met uh, Patera on a couple of occasions. He's a real nice guy. But what I didn't expect was for this kind of performance, the fitness level to be... Well, maybe it isn't quite so wide. It just looked wide because Lewis Ritson got hit with a very clean body shot in round number five. And again in round number six as well, he was getting hit with a lot of body shots and in round number nine as well, if I remember rightly. But, I mean, Patera, not the biggest puncher in the world, but no boxer likes getting hit in the gut. And Patera beats Lewis Ritson by split decision. Um, one judge had it 116 to 112 for Lewis Ritson. I'm not too sure where they got that from, to be honest with you. But you know what? Listen, I'm proud of, of uh, Lewis Ritson. Maybe it was a step up too far, too early. Potentially, maybe. Maybe um, a lot of people bought into it. Or it's a case of Lewis Ritson is good enough. And I do believe he is good enough. It's just that sometimes when you get chin checked or you get that body shot, it changes the rest of the fight. So your whole game plan, because Lewis Ritson is a come forward fighter, that's why it's called the Jordy Golovkin, where he will just keep on steaming forward. And when he gets you on the ropes, he will just unload. And if you try and trade with him, he's usually going to win. And um, But from round five, he just couldn't tee off anything. Um, he couldn't put any kind of combination together. He couldn't um, do anything other than maybe push Patera back and then maybe hit him with one shot or sometimes maybe two shots. And I think that was kind of the, the issue with it, was that uh, Patera was just keep on moving, keep on dancing on the back foot. And he made it look quite comfortable. And it was quite comfortable for Patera because Lewis Ritson just had nothing left in his legs, no air in the lungs. And whenever Lewis Ritson would try and release something, it would usually not have that much mustard on it because he had no energy left. And... Lewis Ritson needs to be proud of himself. Seriously, he needs to be proud of himself because from round number five, he went seven rounds with zero left in the tank. Literally zero left in the tank. So quite how he never got stopped, I do not know. I do not know how he managed to stay on his feet. He never once took a knee or anything like that. He was certainly hurt. He was in trouble on a, um, on a couple of occasions. And had the referee have stopped it, I wouldn't have blamed the referee, to be perfectly fair, because um, Patera was unleashing on Ritson on a, on maybe two occasions that I can remember but you know what I'm proud of Lewis Ritson he will come back a loss is not the end of the world um I'll get Lewis on the channel um I'll probably leave it a couple of weeks to be fair um let everything sink in let him digest exactly what's happened and review it and kind of see see what what he wants to do from here because obviously he's still the British champion he can defend the British um, title no problem maybe a rematch with Patera I mean that's a pretty good option I think that uh, Lewis had he not got hit with that body shot would have ended up steamrolling Patera that's just my thoughts I mean I don't know that for a fact of course not but I think that Lewis Ritson has shown that he can hang with the Europeans even when he's hurt and he's got zero energy left so anyway congratulations to Francesco Patera he takes 
that title back to Belgium. He's originally from Italy, of course, but it was an absolute war. It was a very, very good fight. And if you're neutral on this, you're watching this fight thinking, this is a real, real good fight. And how how Lewis Brinson just didn't take a knee, you know, just try and get a few valuable seconds, I never know. That Geordie pride in him, that British lion heart just keeps on making him come forward. Even when you're tired, what he should have done was maybe took a step back from time to time. And I'm pretty sure that, um, you know, he's going to go back to the gym with his dad and other trainers and that to discuss exactly what happened, work on some new tactics because you can't just keep relying on the one punch power. So when you get on the inside, try and release two or three, not just one power and then take a look and see what happened anyway as i said i'm proud of lewis Richardson, so drop your thoughts below about it click that thumbs up and of course subscribe catch you all on the next video